Gonna get run over. Yeah, that worked. I guess this is how we test cameras. Let's go. I think Sony might hate me for this, but do you think it's waterproof? Whoa. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a beautiful day and that you're ready for the end. This is the last video I am recording here in the studio. Why? because everything moved out. We are moving apartments. This was the place where my daughter was sleeping. This is where I used to record. Ah, it's an emotional moment. But I'm gonna take a break from all that move action and we're gonna go test something together. Do you guys remember in one of the videos when I was testing a phone on my bike around the streets of Chicago? Well, this time Sony sent out the new Sony Xperia that just came, ooh, that just came out. Look at this, guys. One inch sensor in here, 24 millimeter, two sets of aperture, F2 and F4, very interesting design, wide angle, and also a 15 millimeter. This video is actually sponsored by Sony. They actually asked me, hey, can you go shoot with it like you do with all your videos? And you know what? I happily accept it because there's no constraint as to what I'm going to say. It's just me shooting and sharing my experience with you guys. I wanted to disclaim it just so that you know, uh, I actually got a sponsorship from Sony for it. Actually, it makes me smile because it's been years I've been doing those videos, guys, and they're never ever sponsored. So if you're ready, let's get out there. Let's go in the streets right now. Woo, it feels great to be out in the middle of the streets again, guys. All right, look at this. Look at this camera. It has literally a little button right there, which sounds fun where you can shoot as if it was a real camera. So when you half press it, it actually focuses. And when you full press, it actually takes the photo. It's so interesting. It's actually very, very different. I've never tried that. It feels like a, it actually does feel like a compact camera in that sense. So let's, let's try to get some of those shots. It's gonna be interesting. Got some people crossing over there. Got some beautiful light. We're gonna shoot into the sunset tonight, so. Get ready guys, I think it's gonna be fun. Let's try to see. I'm dressed in orange right now, so I don't get run over by the cars in the middle of the street, right? It's always a little better. Oh, there's a giant truck. What we would need would be to have the train also come at the same time, that would be dope. And, oh, it's not a truck, it's like a limo bus. waiting for it oh we've got the train and now we need the people crossing okay on the sunny side let's try oh no the cars no the cars are, are jamming the shot let's get closer Ooh. okay can i grab this after let's see and three two one Wow, okay, this is interesting. I was in auto and I can go in MSM, program auto also. That's cool, I like that program auto thing. Program is a mode I hardly ever use, but since there is no aperture priority because there's only two apertures, F2 and F4, they give you the ability to shoot in, uh, in, uh, in P, or at least it, it suggests then we can change every single thing like on this on the camera look at that change the focus points the burst mode the iso where we want the metering to be oh, this is so different so i'm shooting raw and jpeg it's so fascinating white balance what else flash no flash and then or aperture here f4 or f2 you see f4 f2 i'm gonna shoot at f2 to see because having a one inch sensor and shooting at f2 means that we will be able to get some uh, some bokeh which you are not getting on phones unless it's fake bokeh you know like when they make it um, with a program after well you can get that on any phone but real bokeh is difficult since the sensors are so small usually but one inch sensor will allow you to get that so we'll test it maybe it's not that great maybe you won't notice the difference but i think it's worth trying out oh this can be this can work too wait let's see boom interesting i feel like the light is only gonna get better so 
gonna try to find the best spots. Whoa, I think that was good. Let's go back. Let's play with that light. Whoop. No, this is terrible. What am I talking about? Nope. This is absolutely terrible. Nope. It doesn't work. Let's go a little further. Whoa, look at that light, guys. And we've got beautiful geometry right there happening. Let's see what we can do. I love this button, honestly. I love this button. I feel like I might need a little case just to have it slightly bigger, have a slightly bigger grip right there. But just the button is, is really insane. So, oh, I also read somewhere that you can have two SIM cards right there. And you can also plug in a SD card if you want because the video mode on this is actually insane. You can do 4K 120 frames per second. There's like a bunch of cool modes. Cine mode where you can do uh, pull focus. Let's go. One, two, three. Really need someone. Like if someone could be right there, we'll wait for the people to pass. Maybe we can have something here. And then we're gonna reduce the exposure a little bit. Here we go. Someone has to be like in the corner, otherwise it doesn't work. You see, you need the light there. It's too bad. Mm. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. Look at this. Oh. Ah, helicopter coming by. Go, let's continue to our sunset. Let's chase the light. You know me, guys. Woo! Chocolate, anyone? Look at what's cooking. Yum. All right, let's try a little fun angle. We've got the light over there. That looks kind of cool. Let's try it like that. Oh. Not sure how good this looks, but it's the only way to know is to try. If you don't try, you don't know. Right. This is one of the classic views. Why are they going behind me? What? Are they beeping for me? Yes. Nope, not for me. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, that totally didn't work with the dog. It's totally not centered. I wasn't fast enough on this one. Too bad. We'll try another one. Why wow, it's so busy around here. Let's see if we can do anything. Maybe we can take some photos here. And play with the aperture. Let's see what the aperture looks like. If we do if we play with this. Newspaper. Ooh, it's a lot Hello, slower. This. this guy's really loud. Hello, this. All right, let's see. So that Shooting vertical, I really have to use my thumb actually. Versus horizontal is like super intuitive like that like a camera with my index vertical actually it works too i didn't think about turning it that way i don't know why for some reason i wanted to turn it that way but this way works great i love how i have all the menus here can i actually oh that's to lock oh let's lock it if you want to oh gosh revelation look at this you can literally put your hand on the screen and still use it this is perfect wow look at that beautiful beautiful light tonight guys welcome to chicago <laughs> this is great love that and then unlock boom you can tap on the screen that's perfect love that this is actually really smart because i was wondering how i wouldn't be like touching everywhere the buttons and actually you don't you just hold it like that 
amazing wow that's cool there is way too many people here we're gonna go this way try a little bit of architectural stuff oh i like that hope there is no one in this car okay nice this is actually really cool look at this nice and then i can pull back a little bit the exposure that's this super this is pretty smart the way they designed this okay my skipper is going everywhere uh, let's try maybe oh look at this this is cool like interesting symmetry can you guys see look at that one two three i love that yeah Boop. okay i'm the crazy man in the streets on the skateboard taking photos <laughs> I guess this is how we test cameras. When you don't have a bike, use your skateboard. Woo! Let's go. Whoa. Hopla. I don't know, crashing into people. Oh, look at the AMG here. Let's see if we can just take photos of details. So, maybe a shot of the wheel there. And then if we edit it nicely, it could look good. Maybe that AMG sign. Dude, the seats look so good. Let's try. It's not like super, super. Oh, wait. 24. Nah, it doesn't look right. That does not look right. Although, if we had a low angle like that, and maybe someone like driving, it could look good. Oh, I love that little shutter sound. This is fun. Right. So at night, if you light up the inside of the car, I think it can be really interesting. But right now, we have so much reflection, you know? Look at the... here. Look at this. Look at the wheel. Boom. And the inside. Those are terrible photos because we don't get what we want. Oh, Inception. Look at that. Look at that. You can take a photo of the phone and the wheels at the same time. Let's try. All right. All right, we'll remember this one has worst photos I took ever. We'll try something a little better, yeah. That blue challenger here kind of pops in my opinion, so... Ooh. There we go. Actually, this car is really clean. I like the... Honestly, I really like that lock screen. I just discovered it. It just makes it so much easier. Okay, do you guys see the reflection of the buildings in that fuel tank? It's pretty neat. Whew, this is fun. Love it. Honestly, shooting with the phone like that is really freeing. And having that compact camera feeling at the same time really makes a difference in my opinion. Just because you know you have access to all the functionalities that you might be regretting not having most of the time. Alright, uh, I kind of like the yellow really popping from the rest. Wow. Alright, somehow guys, I managed to stop recording for the most interesting shot. So, here's what you missed. Basically, we're able to do panning shots with this. At 120th of a second, it looks absolutely epic. You'll see. I'm gonna show you. We're gonna do it again. Look at this. One, two, and one, two. Whoop! 
One, two, whoop. Yay! Oh my god, it's so fun! Like, okay, this is failed. This worked kind of. Look at this one. That's so interesting. So, even while being on the skateboard and moving, we're able to get the panic shot. Okay, so we'll get it again here. By the way, I asked the guy right there if I could take a photo of his hand. It was really weird, but he said yes, and it looked really good. So, I'm happy I went for it. This is really fun. I didn't expect that, honestly. Okay, let's continue. We're gonna go by the lakefront and uh, get some good colors for sunset. Oh! Maserati. Oh, let's try to get a photo when he goes. He's gonna go. Hey, what's up? Oh, he was moving his head. The car is cool. <laughs> All right, this is fun. I actually find it a little easier than on my big camera for some reason, and I can't explain why. It just feels easier. Look at this, this is interesting. Oh no, the light turned off on the car. Alright, whatever. Do you guys think we could have a like 85 millimeter on those cameras? Imagine having an 85 millimeter lens on this. Let's try another panning shot here. This could look really good with the background. Let's see. Gonna get run over. All right, panning shot episode 26. Are you ready, guys? Ooh, okay. Oh man, you need a good car, like good-looking car. If possible, that it really pops on that background. Okay, let's just get a taxi. Damn, everything's black. Let's go. I've gotten this one right. Okay, okay, white Audi. Uh, maybe it should have required a second shot. Let's see. Yeah, the Audi works. Okay, so I like those panic shots because of the background. The background makes those lines very interesting. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. This is also a very clean shot. Look at this. Yeah, if you reframe that a little bit, it's gonna look great. Woo! All right, let's continue. Let's go on the lakefront. Are we ready for some reflection shots here? That's gonna be. It. Okay, guys, I think Sony might hate me for this, but do you think it's waterproof? They said IPS something something let's try it. Uh oh <laughs> okay we're gonna try one more time that reflection shot i don't think i got it properly so let's let's try again you ready oh yeah that's so much better all right all right Whoop. let's get the water uh we're gonna do a slightly long exposure and see what we can do with the water splashing guys this is how you know if the specs are true or not you just whoa i don't know how the sand in the water is gonna do but Woo! <laughs> fun okay okay let's try this oh my feet
Whoa! Holy crap! Woo! Okay, I think I'm not gonna push my luck more on this one. Uh, we're gonna say that it's splash proof for now, but most importantly, I wanna see the photo. That's interesting. I kind of love, love like that one with the little crest on top. I think that has potential, you know? Okay, let's go over there. There is a really nice view on the city. Wow, look at those clouds in the background. Let's go. Woo! All right, super famous spots. It says keep up the blocks or something. Uh, we're just gonna get a quick one here. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is kind of the composition right there. There's a really cool composition where you use that leading line to hit with the top of the building. guys uh, that was fun i think my favorite part is definitely putting the phone in the water the ergonomics is really really intuitive because if you have ever shot with a compact camera it feels the same way right and you have access to all the menu buttons all that i really enjoyed it while shooting quality of the images you guys can tell me what you think i've showed you the non-edited version and the edited version of those images i shot in raw plus jpeg everything so i've edited most likely my raw images what i found that's cool is that you in the basic mode you can go from photo to video but you also have all those added features for example for the pro photo modes where you have manual shutter speed priority etc and then you have also a video mode that's a pro video where you can shoot 4k you have all the recordings you can set in and out you can have manual focus defocus it's actually very very intuitive in the way it works if you've ever shot with a real camera it feels the same way then there's cinema pro but if you've ever heard of the Xperia, you already know it you can have the venice looks like if you're traveling and if you want to take all those street photo and at the same time maybe you want to record some memories you can use the video mode and there is a little external screen if you want that you can place at the front so you can use the one inch sensor and speak like that so basically is a flip screen because if you use a front facing camera if you want to see yourself uh, the quality is not as good as the one inch sensor you have a half press shutter button which is excellent honestly this makes you feel like you have a compact camera in your hand literally you hold it like a compact camera you can shoot like a compact camera you can set all the settings like you want except there is no aperture priority but that's only because there is a f2 and f4 and that's mechanical aperture actually it's a really smart system that like switches and so you have real bokeh it's not a uh, process bokeh if you want to have that you can also but consider it like a compact camera in a way that's fun it's very impressive i think this is something i could actually be using to record transitions in my vlogs especially when i'm traveling so i don't have to pull out the big camera if i'm in the airport if i'm on transit if i'm in the car it's going to be a lot faster because you always have your phone on you right part of me wished that sony didn't sponsor that video i'll tell you why because i think some of you are like oh you're gonna say nice things just because it's a sponsor absolutely not you've seen me through my video first of all i don't ever take sponsor of the things i don't like that's why there are so few of them and second of all why would i tell you anything you know that's is not truthful that's break of trust here and that's the most important for me all right let me know in the comments what you think has this been enjoyable check out the link of uh, if you want to learn more about the phone all the bells and whistles that i haven't mentioned i really wanted to test that one inch camera everything you've seen was shot in raw and jpeg and i've edited some of the photos you could see the before after yeah i'm curious about your thoughts now get out there go shoot try something different try something new no matter what kind of camera remember that